hi guys welcome to my channel so glad you could join us again so we're going to be making this boo boo dress so if you don't know how to make a boo boo this tutorial is going to show you how to make one so now looking at this fabric closely the pattern is horizontal so we're going to be folding our fabric so our pattern goes vertically so now I went ahead to fold it in that direction so once you have something like this make sure that your fabric is laying flat now you're going to go ahead to mark your vertical measurements so I marked my first point I marked the waistline then I marked the hip line so now I went ahead to mark my shoulder point the shoulder for this measurement is 9 which is 18 inches I marked that then I went ahead to mark the sleeve length which was 12 inch I added 1.5 inch allowance to that now to the neckline I marked the neckline was two by sorry three by two inch then I curved that so now looking at the neckline I went ahead to extend it by 0.2 inch because I wanted it to have room because the client is a little bit on the big side so on the shoulder point I went down by half inch then I connected it to the sleeve point. So once you have something like that, you're going to need to shape your round sleeve measurements. So for the client's round sleeve was like, I think 15. So that was like 7.5. So basically everything I added here was like 4 inch. So I made sure I had it like 4 inch because the sleeve, the round sleeve is not meant to be tight on that part. So depending on how your client wants it, so you can go ahead and add your allowance based on that. So now the next thing I did was to mark to shape the body. So for on the if part, I measured a hip measurements and I added 4 inch to that as well I think I hip was like 52 so that was like 13 then I added 4 inch to that so what I got on that part I just extended it to the end part so I'm just going to be extending that point and I'm going to be using my ruler to connect the points and I'm going to be cutting so guys remember that this is the back so once I'm done cutting the back I'm going to fold another fabric into two and I'm going to use the back to cut the front So making sure that everything is laid flat, you're going to need to note the neckline, the point for the neckline. Now that you've noted that, you're going to go ahead to cut off every other thing. So basically what you're doing here is you're just cutting the same thing for the front and the back. The only difference is the neckline. So once we have that cut, we're going to have our front and our back piece. Now we're going to work on the front neckline. So for the front neckline, I used um, vertically, I used 10.5 inch. Now from that point, I went in one inch. 
then i formed a straight line then i connected it to the neckline like that so what does what that space needs is a collar you're going to be fixing your collar in that space so because you might be wondering why the shape is like that your collar is going to sit in that space so now that we have both pieces we're going to be joining the shoulder together remember we cut the shoulder and the sleeve together that means this um this is called a joint together sleeve that means you don't cut the sleeve separately you cut it together with the body so we're going to go ahead to join our shoulder together so you're going to be using your pins to secure that in place then you go ahead to sew it on your machine So I went ahead to sew it. So now the next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to notch the midpoint of your neckline. So I went ahead to notch the midpoint for the front and the back. Just little notches. So once you notch that, you're going to be going going in for one part of the neckline. So you need to go in like two inch. The reason why we're doing this is because the neckline is not the same. The color is not the same, sorry. The color one is bigger than the other. So we need to shape one side of the color of the neckline to fit the color that is bigger. So that's why we came in by two inch. So can you see, I just cut for one part. I didn't cut for the other. Now you're going to measure round that point. Just watch the way I'm doing it. Place your tape roll and measure round from the starting of your collar to the end of the collar. Once you note that measurement, I think I had the three inches. So like the next thing you need to do is to cut your collar. So the length was 33 inch. Then I first mark four inches wide for the width of my collar then I went ahead to shape it so for that part I went in like two inch then I slanted it upward to the four inches so that was what I have at the end of the day I went ahead to add stay to that I used the gum stay so now I wanted to check if my collar was sitting in the way I want to so I just used my hand to try to see what it was going to look like. So I realized that when I placed it together, I didn't really like it because it was looking like one side was really, really bigger than the other side. So I just went ahead to trim off like 0.5 inch from the allowance for my collar. So remember I used 2 inch for one side and 4 inch. So when I trimmed it off I had just 3.5 and 1.5 inch left. So now I'm just holding the midpoint then I went ahead to sew it in. So once I sew it in I have something like this. So can you see it? So I sew to that point and when you flip it inside it's going to look like that so you're going to go ahead to use your uh weave you're going to weave the edges so you don't have any rough edges so once i was done doing that the next thing was to cut the other parts of my um i don't know what to call that the attache for the front parts or something so I was just trying to shape it here to see what I wanted it to look like so I just went ahead to shape. Please be careful if you're doing this so you don't notch your fabric. 
So here I want to add to add stay. I used to come stay as well. It's quite hard, not to add, but it, it gives me the what I want. So I was just trying to use my hand to check, um, to just lay everything flat here to before I went in with my iron. So once I was sure that everything was laid flat, uh, I'm going to go in with my iron to press that down. So here I already pressed it with the iron. So I'm just trimming off the excesses so I don't have any bulge. Now I'm just placing it to see how I want it to sit. Then I'm going to be going with my pins to just secure everything down. And I took it to the machine and I just held everything down perfectly. Here I decided to add pockets. So I just used like 17 inch for the pocket side. Now I'm just cutting my pockets. So just showing you how to do that. Sorry, I didn't really film the tutorial for that. So now I'm just placing my pocket right side to the right side. And I'm just going to be sewing that together. So you need four pieces for that pocket. Now I'm just going to be sewing. So before you do this, you need to turn the hem for your sleeve. So I turned my hem like 1.5 inch. Then I'm just going to be sewing the sides and I'm going to show you how you're going to sew your pockets. So once you get to that pocket point, you're going to flip the sewing allowance to the pocket side. Then you stop like half inch, then you turn it and you just sew it round. So you just follow the shape of the pocket so you get to the other side. So once you're about to get to that other side, you flip the raw edges to the pocket side as well. This ensures that your pocket sits very well inside your dress. So once you're there, you just go ahead to just sew everything. Just give it a good sewing straight line. Make sure your lines are straight. So once you do that, you're going to do the same thing for the other side. And the next thing you're going to be doing is to turn the M, which is the down part. Depending on how wide you want it or how much allowance you had that. I had that like 1.5, like 2 inch. So I'm going to be folding it in then. I'm going to make sure that my allowance is intact, checking it every minute so one side is not bigger than the other side. So I was done here, I went ahead to turn it to the right side. Guys, how could I forget? Please subscribe to my channel, like my video. Thank you so much. We're not done, so yeah, I think we're done. So that's just the pocket, just showing you how it's laying flat and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead to give it a good press, and we're done. So that's just the M in part, M area. So let's see how this looks like on the money coin. So here it is. Thank you guys so much. Bye bye.